Hi, my name is Francesca Flores. I have been living in Vietnam for about 18 months now, and I just started working with BES this school year. I get to teach the kindergarten little babies. With my babies, it's every day is a surprise, and I really like it. It's been really great teaching the little kids because they are like sponges. And so I get to see the improvements in them a lot easier than I do with some of my older students that I've taught in the past. For example, this past week, two of my students that have been completely nonverbal thus far are starting to engage in activities and say, teacher, 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 and count. And me and my TA are just so excited about their progress. With the babies, I need to do a lot of repetition and a lot of hands-on activities for them. So we do a lot of story time and a lot of songs, and I try to engage them in English in everything we do, not just in the classroom. So for example, when they come in in the morning, I ask them about all the items they have on. What are these? They are shoes. What is this? It's a backpack. What color? How many? <laughs> and I just ask them those questions about anything we have going on. For me, having my parents involved with my students makes a really big deal because for some of these students, it's their first time in a classroom and they're very nervous and unsure because it's a completely new place for them. So having their parents connected and helping me with them makes the world of difference. Having their parents support them at home and ask them about what they've learned and reinforcing the concepts for them helps them feel more comfortable when they come to class because they've already had the practice at home with their parents. And, and the reinforcement of being good. <laughs> I, I get daily text messages from some of my parents saying, was so-and-so good today? Okay, they get iPad today. <laughs> Everybody is on the same page as far as engaging our students is concerned, and it's really nice. I will write something in their daily planners because the way our schedules end at the end of the day, I don't necessarily get to see the parents. I try to stay after class and say bye to everybody, but sometimes that doesn't happen. So my first step is to write in their student planner, and if I don't get a response from that, then I will hang out and wait for their parents. Because the longer time lapses, the less powerful the, con the contact is. And I like to engage my parents for things that are going really well in the class, and things that are not going very well in the class. So they know about the celebrations just as much as the discipline. I really enjoy working here. I have been very lucky to uh, be located at Fancic Long, which in itself is just a beautiful building, and I feel like a princess coming in every day with the beautiful stairwell. And I, I work with a really great combination of foreigners and Vietnamese, and I just feel so lucky to come to work every day.